Hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes. This is good. This is okay. Nothing. Mmm. Good. Glad that happened. Everything's fine. Oh, see what I tell you. Pyramid Puzzle. Well, hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario 64. In the last episode, I finally got the 100 coin star in Dire Dire Docks, and I decided to celebrate. Let's go to quite possibly my least favorite level in the game. <clears throat> Let's try that again. Pyramid Puzzle. Yeah, take two. Woo! And now, in this episode, we get to do the exciting 100 coin mission of... What's this place called? Uh, Shifting Sandland. Yes. My favorite. This isn't really that bad of a stage to get 100 coins in, honestly. I know that there's at least one uh, blue coin switch, and there's this thing. I mean, it doesn't help too much. But the red coins are all fairly easy to get. There's just, It's not that difficult. Basically, is what I'm trying to very complicatedly explain. It's not as easy as, say, ow, like Womp's Fortress, or what's that? Bye, Pokey! It's nice knowing ya! Or, uh, uh, cool, cool mountain. Oh, oh, please, 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 please. yes! It was, it was in a good place! Woo! Look at that, we already got 15 coins. We're already well on our way. But this isn't really a stage where I know a good way to... Bye, box. Have fun at your doom! There it goes. No way I'm getting that! Because if you didn't... Oh, okay, I ground-pounded it. I meant to do I did that. 100% me skill. Get away from me, tornado! Nah, would that be a tweezer? I think I guess it is kind of a tweezer. In fact, I almost think they added a face to that in the uh, DS version, but I'm not 100% certain I might be imagining that. In fact, there's a good chance I'm imagining that. And, hi yeah, yes. Uh, is this cannon open? Yes, I, I remember opening this thing now. Yeah! And... Do both go! I was expecting my wing caps. My wing caps. <laughs> All of my wing caps. Okay, we're really, we're really moving now. Oh, gosh. Get the, okay, maybe not. Get the red, okay. Get the red coin. There we go. This is a much more manageable speed. Now it's probably about to wear out. Uh, it's less longer than I was expecting, but I don't trust it! Yay! Don't trust me, Flag. I don't trust you either. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Ooh, points. Yay! Actually, I think there's a Pokey here, too. There's this box. And Pokey Buddy! Yep. Well, I guess I'm not getting those points. I don't know if I explained it, but basically for Pokey in order to kill him, you have to get him in the head. You can knock down his parts if you hit him in the other sections. Like, make him go down the part. Like, if you hit the head, he... Oh, there's another Pokey. Jeez. Look at that, all those parts went away, because I hit B. Okay, now. He, does he not take the wing cap? <laughs> Drown! I thought that if he uh, hit you when you had the wing cap, you would actually take it. But, oh, oh, now it goes away. Thanks. But at the moment, evidence isn't really supporting me on that. So, okay, I think I can get at least 60 here. So let's try and gun for 60 and then head into the temple. That's a pyramid. The pyramids be considered, like, a subset of temples now I think about it? And they're kind of a subset of tombs. They're, they're almost like a combination of temples and tombs. Hmm. Yeah, uh -huh. Yep. I don't know, sounds, sounds like I'm overcomplicating things to make them work out in my favor. I'm going to go back this way because I don't think there's any coins that way, and if there are, I'm not sure it's worth it. And actually, yeah, I'm almost 100% certain I can get, uh, 60. Swipe, swipe, swipe! I just accidentally went down there. Which wouldn't have necessarily been a bad thing. I don't think it's necessary I get these next red coins. Okay, that was close. I'm assuming I am missing two red coins. Otherwise, no. But if so, then yes! <laughs> you see my logic, it's flawless. Let's see, let's go up to here. Aha! You missed me because you're a fool. What is that thing anyway? It is literally just a, an orb or a circle. It can only be a circle sprite thanks to gosh darn technical limitations. But I mean, it just kind of spits at you. And it's a circle. It's not even a circle with a face on it. It's just a circle. Like, what is that? What is it? I mean, there's the, what are they called? Fire chomps, I think, from like Mario 3 and some of the new Super Mario Bros. games. But, like, those at least have faces. These things just... See, I believe, yep, right here. Just this. I believe it makes... Yep, these appear. How's this? Three or four? Looks like it's just three. But it's still very helpful nonetheless. Let's just get up here. And now the true treacherous journey... Yeah, keep going. Oh, worth it. Yep. And it is here that, our, that Explorer Mario must find the hidden 25 coins. Even though he got 75 just by looking around at ground level outside of the temple. Apparently there are hostile natives to this... Keep calling it a temple. This pyramid. And again, I mean, it could kind of be considered a temple, maybe? I'm just trying to tri twist how things work in my favor. But I think it works. That's a doofy buddy. Does this have coins? What's the signs? I haven't read, like, any of the signs. Upon four towers one must alight, then at the peak shall shine the light. See, that was more... <laughs> that's more subtle... Darn. That's more subtle than the, uh... Than 
the star name. Like, what? And actually, in order to get in here, you would have to do something outside of the, uh, of the pyramid. What's the point of that? And besides to, I don't know, maybe make the mood more ominous, maybe? Beyond that, I can't think of a reason for that sign being in here. I don't get that now that I think about it. Huh. I've never really... I've never really read that sign before, I, First, First off. Yep. Also, I believe a few episodes ago, I came... I tried to get up atop this thing and use uh, space above it as a teleporter. In it, once again, at least the DS version, because that's where I tried it out on again. It's actually a one-way teleport. I don't quite... Thank you, Mario. I don't quite remember where it is that you go for the teleport, but I know that you have to go to a specific spot, and if you stand there, it will teleport you there, and you can't be teleported back. That is how that works. So I was right, I was just doing it wrong. And now for more fun times. Okay, good, there's not six coins. I don't want the star to appear above here. And almost taking as long as Dire Dire Docks, we have the 100 coin star of Shifting Sandland. Applaud everybody for guest star. <laughs> the special guest star. Um, okay, spoilers. We got 70. Oh, yeah, happy 70 power stars, everybody. Yay. No reason to go to the house. <laughs> the Alf Cove. Okay, Mario, please stop that. I realize it's because I'm accidentally hitting up on the right stick. But I'm, I mean, first off, that's kind of easy to do since it is now a stick instead of the C buttons. So, <laughs> I'm back. Okay, I'm back again. Mario, please, work with me. Thank you. And you too, Lakitu, for going through solid matter. You're the real trooper here. Not even Mario can do that. Excuse me, sir. Just gonna push on your teeth. I'm pretty sure I said that the last time I was here. But I just don't care. I get to say it again, dang it. Oh yeah! One? What? Oh hey, and that was the 111th coin in this stage I've gotten. Coincidence? I think not! Oh, good. I was worried about that one. Yep, yep. So, basically, for the star, these coins on this path, they are numbered for whatever reason. I'm pretty sure this isn't the first time we've had this five secrets thing. I'm not sure if it is, but this is definitely not the only occurrence. Now, in, uh, in Super Mario 64 DS, this is different. Apologize for that voice crack. Um... The star is different. Instead of you getting the five secrets, which are just basically coins, instead you have to get five silver stars, which I believe I've mentioned before. But they're basically, they pretty much just work like how those coins worked, actually. Just instead of coins, they're silver stars, and they don't look like every other coin in the level. And because I value variety in my channel, which is why I'm playing a Mario game for the first time in my channel, that was honestly surprising to me when I... I thought the door just glitched. That was honestly surprising me when I realized that. <laughs> Speaking of surprising, we haven't gone up here yet. And we already have enough start. I could just ignore the rest of the game right now. And, and now I'll, I'll save that for another time. Spiral staircase, everybody. Now up here, there's a couple of different levels here. Gosh dang it. I never remember which one is the tenth one. Because that's the next one. Wow, we almost have all the secret stars we need. I never remember which one is the next one. Uh, that looks like a water stage. Uh, don't feel like water stage. Let's go here. I know this one isn't the tenth one, <laughs> ironically enough. Oh, that's... I was wrong anyway. I thought this was the eleventh, eleventh level. Let's scale the mountaintop. Uh, let's just do what it says, I guess. Scale the mountaintop. Mushroom star, yay! Hiya! Woo! Eventually we'll actually get to stage 10. But 
I actually think stage 10 is the level that I said looked like a water level. And again, like, we just did Dire Dire Docks. Heck, we're, I'm not even done with Dire Dire Docks yet. So, I don't really feel like thinking about water at the moment. So, let's just skip ahead to stage 12. And just run through the whole thing. Ugh, monkey. Ow. Now, that monkey. Because I don't feel like explaining it and then having to face the consequences... If you pick up that monkey, he will take your cap and then run around and you'll have to catch the monkey in order to actually get your cap back. And I don't really like... What? What? Why was that there? Okay then. But I don't really like catching the monkeys, so I'm just gonna leave him be. Yep. And that is fall number one of scaling the mountaintop. I was really hoping I could make it through this whole level without actually falling. That didn't go so well. And this is actually a split path, I didn't mention it. But here, you can either climb up there, not with the vines, you just jump on platforms. Or you can go this way. This feels like, oh gosh, the more correct and intended way. So I'll take this path. Woo! Especially since after this, I... Okay, that one wasn't my fault. But especially since after this, I doubt, like, I probably won't take, I'll most likely take the vine path more often. But I'm not being blamed for that one. I'm not filing that under falls. I'll, I'll take credit for the first one. I'll give you guys that one. But not the other ones. Yep. Chuck you up, chuck up. Thank you. Whew. Ah, good old Bob on Battlefield. Woo! And, okay. Also, welcome the return of... Go the right way! Welcome the return of the log from the Red Hot Log Rolling Star in Lethal Lava Land. What do you say? Watch out for falling rocks. No, high winds ahead. Pull your cap down tight. If it blows you off, you'll have to find it on this mountain. Ooh, there's another thing that you can lose your cap to. And here's another split path. You can either go up there with the rolling rocks, or you can go down here around the rolling rocks. And actually, this is where the uh, split paths meet up. Expert dodge. Yeah, dodge that rock too. Sweet. And that's also where you find the red coins. Simple enough, simple enough. And now these paths meet up. So many paths that ultimately lead to the same place. Around here's a one-up. I don't really need it, because, I mean, it doesn't save between loading files. That, that thing is what, wow, you can really see where the mouth texture is. But that's the thing that can blow you, like, off the mountain and make you lose your cap. So, hold on, hold on what? But watch out for him. I just noticed this. Huh, neat. I've never noticed that before. Also, these are like sand. But you go around here, and there's this bogusness. Whew. Hey! But apparently, you can skip all that and get right to here by triple jumping there. Never knew that. Nifty. Here we go! Uh, I don't know if I'll actually, like, how much I'll speed up of the 100 coin thing. For shifting sand land, so I'll call it that. I'll call it quit. Actually, no. Here, just in case I do. Hey, if I'm right. Thanks to the power of the stars, life is returning to the castle. Please, Mario, you have to give Bowser the boot. Here, let me tell you a little something about the castle. In the room with the mirrors, look carefully for anything that's not reflected in the mirror. And when you go to the water town, you can flood it with a high jump into the painting. Oh, by the way, look what I found. I hope it's a glass of water. Mm. That was fun. So now we have little teasers for stuff later on. Wow, another power star. I sure would like to save. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And next time we're going to play this game. So look forward to that. Have a good day. Goodbye.